For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. You are all very welcome this evening to this service of songs in honor of our late brother, Brother Michael Babatunde, a very important uh, person in our church here in our congregation. Tonight, you may be experiencing some sadness. So are we in the church. Because Brother Michael is very important, or was very important to all of us. The things that many of us are afraid to say, our brother will say it. Very straight-talking man, very upright in his behavior. And that was what attracted to many of us in this church to him. Hardly do we have anyone in this congregation that have not benefited from Brother Batonde's generosity. And so it is fitting this evening that we gather together this evening to celebrate him, to celebrate a life well spent, to thank God for his life, and to continue to support his family as they go through this challenging time. So let us pray. Almighty God, you judge us with your infinite mercy and justice and love everything you have made. In your mercy, turn the darkness of death into the dawn of new life, and sorrow of parting into the joy of heaven. Through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We remain standing as we sing our first hymn, Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me.
Is he dead? As children of a loving Heavenly Father, let us ask his forgiveness, for he is gentle and full of compassion. God of mercy, we acknowledge that we are all sinners. We turn from the wrong that we have thought and said and done and are mindful of all that we have failed to do. For the sake of Jesus Christ who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and help us to live each day in the light of Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God our Father forgive us our sins and bring us to eternal joy of his kingdom, where dust and ashes have no dominion. Amen. I know we are all people of faith, and where we are seated tonight, may I please implore you to say a silent prayer for the Babatun days and for the soul of our late brother to rest in peace and rise in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and comfort us. Renew our trust in your Son, whom you raised from the dead. Strengthen our faith that all who have died in the love of Christ will share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We now have our first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes to be read, read by Buki Oshofiso. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. This is the word of the Lord. We are going to stand to sing our next hymn, Sleep On, Beloved.
be seated. We are going to take some tributes tonight. And I've been told by the family to apologize to all of you because you all have one thing or two to say about our brother. But because of time, because we also have to prepare this place for service in the morning, we have to do things promptly. Please forgive us. The first person that will give the tribute will be Alaji Bashiru. Where are you? Okay, if he's not here yet, could we have Mr. Kokbo Lashojiri? sister, Mrs. Babatunde, good evening, the children, and all the family of Babat Mr. Babatunde. Please accept my heartfelt condolences over the death of my friend, my brother, and my confidant. I have known Mr. Babatunde, or uh, let me say I have known Mike for nearly 50 years, right from Nigeria. When he came to England, we were still communicating. And precisely 34 years ago, when I came to England, he was at the airport to welcome me. He drove me through the littered Heathrow underpass, through the heart of London, to his house in Acne. And it was in his house in Acne that I had my first meal in the UK, deliciously prepared by my sister, Mrs. Babatunde. Thank you very much. Mr. Babatunde loved his wife, he loved his children, and he loved everybody around him. We shared a lot of things together. We've gone through thick and thin. We've uh, cried together. We've laughed together. And we've rejoiced together. When I had something bothering me, one time I remember, I went to him. And I discussed with him. In a simple sentence, like a bullet, the problem was solved. That was the kind of my friend. It was towards the end of November last year. He phoned me. He said he was going to Nigeria that day. And I said, Mike, you told me you were going in December. Why now in November? He told me I should not worry if he decided to go in November and that he will see me in the new year. Come December 6, I had a phone call. Mike is dead. I said, hello. The message repeated. Mike Itikuo, Mike Itikuo, Mike Itikuo, and stopped. I looked around looking for someone to tell me that the news was not true. But unfortunately, 
Michael is gone. Michael took the hand of God when he got the call. He turned his back and left it all. He could not stay another day to say goodbye to the loved ones. I have no doubt in my mind that Mike is sitting at the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God Almighty forgive him his sins and grant him eternal rest. Mike, good night. Odarinoko, Odojuala. How Thank you. Have a large bashiru yet? No. Okay. We are going to get Mike Baba today. Sorry. Uh, to those that don't know me, I'm Mike Jr. Um, thank you for coming today to honor my dad. And let me start and miss him. Let me start by saying I miss him so much. And trying to describe dad is hard to do, but I'll do my best. My dad was good, kind, and intelligent. He taught us a lot. He was very funny. He was always singing whatever he was doing. And uh, he cared about his family a lot, and he was always there for me. I thought I knew everything about Dad, but I've heard so many new stories from our family and friends as they were paying their respects. And you can tell from the amount of visits that we've had that he was liked and loved by many. So we, we appreciate that. Um, you can't really plan for this. But I know Dad will tell us not to worry and to look after Mom because she'll have no one to argue with. I don't know how long it will take me to grieve, but I feel so grateful to have had as much time with Dad as I did. I miss him so much, and I will forever remember having the absolute best Dad. This chapter of his life might be over, but me, my sisters, and my mom will do our utmost to continue his story, and we'll never forget him. I'm Mike Jr., he's, dad's, he's Mike Sr. <laughs> I hope I can live up to his name. Thank you. Please stand as we sing our next hymn through the love of God our Savior.
कहा पल्ला जी बाशिड़ू ही है Okay, in his place, could we please have Elijah Suleiman? Good evening, um, family and friends. I'll try. <laughs> a tribute to my father-in-law. Life indeed is a stage and, and once one certain is drawn, the rest is history. It is with sorrowful heart and sadness that I stand before this, this evening in tribute of my late grandfather. The news of his death came to us as a huge shock. My father-in-law is a million, is one in a million a humble and dignified man, kind, loving, and caring, an amicable soul. He treated all that came across him equally, regardless of race, color, religion, and gender, which also tapifies his unique being. Like others, numerous people whom your philanthropic nature has redefined their life, of which I am one of them. I did not expect it, and I wish I had more time to continue to appreciate you. Yes, God's will must prevail, as he decided it was your time. Very sad to know that your golden heart has stopped breathing. God has relocated one of the best Words are never in love to ecologize you. Although you are gone and departed, but not forgotten, your memory lives within us all, I'll say. Favor in my heart, my father-in-law. I believe you lived to do the will of God and affected humanity positively. You will be profoundly missed. The beautiful moment you share with us, we will always speak of the great person that you are. May God Almighty keep you eternally safe and rest your angelic soul till we meet to part no more. Adieu, grandfather. Thank you for listening. We now have Mrs. Comfort, Osho Fison. Good evening, everyone. We do not mourn your dreads, but we celebrate a life well spent and transition to eternal glory, indeed. Heaven gained an, gained an age because God decides to call one of his precious sons home. Thank you for everything and for being there for us, for re receiving us with open hands. When we started our journey in the UK, you and your wife gave us a, solid, a soft landing. You were always there to give us support and advice at any time. You and your wife were such a solid support system to us. Thank you for being present and actively involved in all our children's wedding ceremonies. You were physically present and also gave us support in all. Thanks for being a super amazing human being during, our, during your lifetime. Thank, thank, thank you for being a source of strength, support, and encouragement. It is my heartfelt prayer that God Almighty will forgive your shortcomings and grant you eternal rest. He will give us all the fortitude, fortitude to bear this and the strength to pull through at this time. You will be missed so, so much, sir. Sleep well, sir. Ile kompe to da raju lo. Ale fi kbagbori lo kere. Ni biti babadu rulo no. 
lati mo wa lo ni beluke ni titun ni titun ni gboshe awa yo pade le butena ni titun ni gboshe awa yo pade le butena thank you so good night daddy till we meet to part no more bye Do we have Mr. Aki Malija here? Yeah. Okay, please. It's your turn. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, before I start, I want to say on behalf of um, Baba Tindis family, I want to thank everyone for being here. And despite your busy schedule, you have come to honor this great man. Um, Mr. Batunde, uh, Baba Sam, I, I used to call him. Um, I met him long a while ago, um, late 88, 99, um, 88, 89, uh, late 88 and early 1989 when I first came to this country. And the first time I met him, I think it was the first family home I went when I, when I got here. And, when, and I met him through Uncle Dele, who was seated right there. And the first time I worked into that home, there was that connection. I fell in love with him because I was welcomed. Not just welcome. You know, when you meet someone for the first time, someone you don't know, and someone said to you, you know what, I want, to meet, I want you to meet my brother-in-law. And you know, when you, when you first come to this country, people said to you, you have to be careful where you go. And you have to be careful people you listen to, to talk to. So I was wary, but I was again confident that I want to be this young, this man at the time. Um, that's back in Hackney. And when I went to that home, the first time I sighted him, there was something about him. There was something special. And that connection was there. I walked into the room. I met the wife as well. I was welcomed. The, I think... The, the, Lara was very young. I think Sam, maybe Lara wasn't there at the time. They were young. Maybe it was, she wasn't there at the time. Anyhow, it was a good day when I met him. I was so pleased I met him. And on the first day, listen, guys, on the first day when I came to this country, he said to me, man, sit down. What is your plan? Are you here to work? Or are you here for education? And I looked at him. I said, ah, uncle, I don't work for Nigeria. I had a good job. I work for me and Baker, for those who know that, M and B. I said, I think me, I come from anywhere. He looked at me. He said, no, that's not the way forward. He said, no, you have to go to college. So how am I going to pay for my school fees? I need to, I, I need to pay schools, and I, and I need to do all that stuff. And he said to me, don't worry. Things will fall in place. You're thinking of the present because you don't have the physical money right now. But don't worry, things will happen at the right time. Mm, I hope that. I said, maybe. But you know what? I came on a Sunday, and Bradley was there, took me to a job on Monday morning to start working. And I had like a couple of 30, 25 pounds, I think. That was my first early money salary. I was like, mm, this man said go to college. If I had to do this, man, I start calculating and doing my additions and subtractions. I'm going to miss out. Again, I had good people around me who supported me, and they said to me, I think that is the way forward. You have to have an education for you to be in this country. You have to be special. You have to do something special for yourself. And that has 
stayed with me for a very, very long time. And I said, you know what, I must do something for myself. Despite the orders, despite the difficulties I was facing. Guys, I had to work, go to college, I had to work, work, pay for my school fees, and all of that. But every time I see him, the confidence he get me, you know, that you know what, you make it. Just keep going, keep doing what you're doing. And I did that, and I will always, always, always remember that. And I pray that Mihala grant him eternal life. <laughs> Baba Sam was, um, uh, 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 I'm not sure if you guys have been to their house before. Um, the mom, was, the, the wife, and the husband will sit together, and I will be somewhere there. I'm not sure how others feel. They have conversations. Um, when they have conversations, I listen to those conversations. And I said to myself, hmm, I've never been to their house without taking something away because they are solid conversations. And one thing he does for people who know him very well, he said to me, Hakim, you don't have questions. I just told you this. But the Lord, now, why did I say that? And I said, hmm, I, I think you're right. I, there's no, 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 you need to ask me if you want further explanation. You know, he will always say to you, ask questions. You know, and whatever he says, there's always something to back it up, you know, to tell you to back it up. Thank you so, so much for what you have done for us. My master, every Christmas, every year, the wife, the husband, they come to our house, come to my home, and give a gift. I'm going to miss that this December. And by God's grace, I know my mommy will come and do the same in his absence, <laughs> by God's grace. Because we always look forward to that. We always, he knocks on the door and I say, Oh, I think they are there. And when I look, he's always in the car, though. He's sitting in the car. I can see him in the car. But I know mommy will come on the door and say, this is for you. And thank you for that, for doing all those things for us. Again, um, I, I want to say thank you for, for the love you gave, not just for me and my family, for, for my mother. Um, Every now and then, my mother comes in here and come to London, have a break, and they will always, but Sam will always come. And when he goes to Nigeria for holidays, he will always, always, always go to see my mom. In fact, the December he went to Nigeria, my younger brother was supposed to meet up with him, and after that, he will have come to, to Yabode to see to my mother, because he would never go to uh, Nigeria without seeing my mother. But I haven't done anything to him. I have not given him no penny. All this is doing from the bottom of his heart. All this is doing is just doing as a joy. He's holding me as a son. Um, he comes on our door unannounced. And I go to their home unannounced. And we're always, always, always welcome. And therefore, I, I just I don't want to take our time. I want to say um, my family and I will always remember you, even though you are no longer with us. We will still see Mommy Sam and the children, by God's grace. Um, let's make sure it's never forgotten. Friends and family present here today, I say thank you for being here. Heart of your business schedule, and I'm sure that our presence here means a lot to their family, even me, because I'm part of this family. Uh, Baba Samu, oh, oh <laughs> I want to say you're about that. <laughs> um, may, sorry, may, may Allah grant him eternal life. May he have peace. Uh, may God forgive him all his shortcomings and, gr and grant him a John of it all. Thank you very much. Talking of every Christmas, uh, past and present, uh, I remember the first time I told uh, Reverend Patrick that I'm now uh, a fisher or sower of uh, plum tomatoes and water. <laughs> so if you come to my house, the one they brought last, I still have, including the water. Uh, this actually increases when they realize as a result of my, you know, perivera vision, I couldn't drive. They will get those things that are heavy. My plum tomatoes and my water. So, um, uh, <laughs> This is a man that touched so many lives. Now I'm now going to invite Lara Babatunde to come and read to us from the book of Psalms 46. Lara.
A reading from the book of Psalms. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose stream make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the work of the Lord. See what desolation he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease at, to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still, I know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. This is the word of the Lord. Please let us stand together to sing our next hymn for all the saints.
please be seated as we have our next set of tributes. Mr. Bumi, are you here? I don't even know where to start from. Because um, Mr. Babatunde, if you want to talk about him from today, till next year you'll still be talking about him. As we're sitting down here, I just remember the verse in the Bible. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 2, that says it's better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of maybe you are doing wedding or, or whatever. Um, it gives you some, it makes you more wiser. Many times when I visit uh, if I go for this kind of something, it shows me there's nothing in this world anymore. At times I ask myself, does life actually exist? Was I see life as a mirage? Tell me, what can you have the whole world? Will anything go with you? What is our struggling in this world about? What is our struggling in this world all about? I'm telling you tonight, and I'm telling Baba Tunde wherever he is tonight, when he goes away, he thought of me, live with him. He thought of me, left with him. You will know what I mean. That's the only friend I have got in this country. And it's gone. So I asked myself, which means whatever I am today, one day he has got to his own bus stop. I too will get to my bus stop. So everybody will get to their bus stop. Now, now tell me, everything you struggle for, you want to be this, you want to be that, what will, you, will, will be your gain for all that, all that you, have, you, you said you, you live? Only one thing is your gain, the legacy you live. And this man you see here is worthy of emulation by all and sundry. If I tell you that he never go, he never saw this, the four walls of a secondary school, yet he went to a polytechnic in Nigeria. He went to a teacher training college. He came to this country and he got his masters. My dear brother came here, he was talking about motivation. If you want to know a, a real motivator, that's him. He will always push you. If he push you and you don't push, that is where you have problem with him. He is always trying, whatever he could, the help he could render to you to make sure you go up there, that's him. If if it's possible to call him Mr. Motivator, then he has that name. I hope he's seen all this tonight. If you want a good, a good home, go to the fam uh, Baba Today's family. Yes. If you think your family is is bending or about to collapse, 
Now go to his house. You will learn a lot how to hold a family. I've never met somebody who has got a listening ear for anything. He's got a listening ear for everything on earth. He doesn't rush. He will allow you to, to say whatever you want to say. And I'm telling you, by the time he's, you spend 30, min, 30 minutes after you've talked to him, you won't be the same again. He has this uh, uh, slang. When he's talking to you, he say, uh, You see, his life is not to be mourned, but for you to be happy with him. Everything any man has come to do or woman have come to do in this world, he has achieved it. The only thing is that we are sad that he left at this age. We would have wished he would be with us in, uh, in 100 years. But that's our thought, not God's thought. Every day we say, why me? Why me? Why you? Why me? Why not you? When you, go to the house, when you come to the house of, glory, of, of the Lord, before you start and when you finish, you read our Lord's Prayer. And what you, what you have there, I think it's like, if I'm not wrong, ma'am, I think the second line, it says, may that will be done. Every Christian or Muslim, when we have problems, we always say, we always say why me, why me, why me? Meanwhile, we always say, may that will be done. God has, he is the author and finisher of everything. Whatever happens to you, just know he is in control of it. Like I said, I don't know where to start and I don't know where to end. The family, I don't count myself as just a friend of the family. I count myself as, as, a, as a family. Because once you know Mr. Pavatunde, you become his family. If I could recollect a lot of things that we, we've done together, I would have left my marriage long, long time ago, if nothing. There was a time I, was, I wasn't working in this country for four good years. That was, I did not see a single soul, only Mr. Babatunde. Only him. I don't have anybody I talk to, it's only him. When I'm pressed, when I'm happy, it's only him that, that, I, share, that I share everything with. And for him to leave, I know what I mean when I said, a third of my part has gone with him. Because I could, I could, I'm telling you today, I could see nothing in the, in the world anymore. His death has taught me a big lesson, not blue, a big lesson about life. The rest of my family is come, it's our turn. I will, I will only say one thing to all of us. We must be strong because I know he will want us to be strong. He will not want us to mourn because he's a strong man. Because I'm quite sure that he has seen Christ before his death, which everybody must always pursue. See Christ. I can't see anybody coming out to, to come and say he has seen his fault. I've never seen his fault. Even when he's hungry, you will always see where he was coming from.
I'm not the one who is going to do the tribute, but that's um, Thanksgiving. But at the end of the day, I say thank everybody for being here. Or you are Jesus Ramon. And uh, wherever my friend is, I'm quite sure Christ Almighty will receive him in his bosom. And we will meet one day. Adieu. Good night. Sunday. Thank you. Lara will now do the final tribute with the vote of thanks. Um, first of all, um, I would like to say thank you to everyone for coming to celebrate the life of Dad. Thank you for, to everyone that has supported us during this time. Everyone that's cried with us, prayed with us, and most importantly, everyone that's laughed with us, making sure we remember the good times we've had with Dad, because I know he would not want us to mourn his life, but to celebrate instead. So for those who don't know, I'm Lara, I'm also known as Dad's second wife, his twin or his boss. Um, Dad was an amazing man. Um, there's not one person I, he's come across that he would not try to find some kind of common ground so he could have some kind of conversation with them or a story to tell or advice to give or even find a way to make you laugh. Each one of us here, I'm sure, even if it's just been a couple minutes, will have some type of story that you'll be able to share about that. Stories of joy and laughter, because that's the type of man he was. He would make a friend no matter where he was. Even though he was a disciplined man, I mean, which Nigerian isn't, he brought joy and light to everywhere he went. He was the type of man that would do the, his utmost best to help you if you asked. He, there was no task too big for him. He will always try his best to help, and he was always willing to help and drop everything to help you. All you had to do was ask. There's so much I could say about Dad. I could talk forever, like his love for reading and to constantly be learning. For instance, if he saw me reading a book the following week, he would have bought it or somehow borrowed my book and then would be telling me all about it. I will miss his random phone calls just to see how I am or to say he misses me. Random conversations we had when I came to visit the house and we would, while we were watching TV. Or even the songs he'll make up while he's walking around the house. I will miss his joyful character and the way he used to tease us and make us laugh. But I'm, I'm thankful to God that I even have these moments to miss. One thing I, that will stay with me that that had taught me was to be ha happy no matter what. That had told me he doesn't care no matter what I do, whatever I end up doing in life. Just make sure you are happy. Do not look at your neighbor because they are living their life. Live yours and be happy. He was loved daily by us all and will be missed. We love you, Dad, until we meet again. Before I say the final blessing, I've been asked to uh, inform you that after this service, there will be refreshment uh, which will be given to you to take away. Please, as you go out, the people that will give it to you, they will be there to give it to you. Please do take one before you leave. Thank you all for coming this evening. You are truly appreciated. Our brother was a great man of faith, a great man of prayer, and a great man of love. When I visited the family when uh, Mrs. Babatunde came back from Nigeria, I took a bottle of anointing oil with me. 
that was because Brother Baton Day and I think, sir, when we met at the hospital some years ago, uh, he took the little bottle that I took with, with me to the hospital. And he said, don't worry, I will replace it with a bigger one. And when he went to the Holy Land, he fulfilled his promise. He brought me a very big bottle of anointing oil because he knows I use the oil a lot. So tonight, it's in his memory and in his honor just to say we love him dearly. We thank him for all he has done for each one of us here and for the church, for being a part of our church council some few years ago. And uh, our thoughts continue to be with the family. We are one anyway. You just leave just a stone throw. So you will see us from time to time. Shall we bow our head for God's blessing? May God give you his comfort and his peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Please, shall we stand together as we say the grace together in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. We now sing our final hymn, Abide With Me.